Because it's uh, Martin this lunchtime, we have to finish <clears throat> with an element of uh, where Arsenal are and what they're going to do. And I'll tell you what they're going to do. They go into action tonight up in the North East. They're up against Newcastle. Newcastle host uh, Arsenal tonight. Can the Gunners respond? Or is this the night they fall short in their ambitions for Champions League? Um, how's Mikel Arteta feeling about this one with so much at stake? How lucky I am to have them, how they stand uh, under any difficulty, how much they are looking forward to play on Monday, how excited they are about the challenge ahead, because we all know what, everything that we've been through throughout the season and, and how much we have to fight to be in this position. Where, where are you at? He's, he's back in his players, Martin. You know, the, the game tonight, is it that much of a disaster? Disaster is too strong a word, but I'll say it. If Arteta ends up with just... Europa League football. Well, let's not think about that right now. Okay. I think it's the you know you're going into that almost the eye of the tiger now going into St James's Park. They, the way that they've rebuilt their club, bought very good players, come in, the manager on a high. This will be like a bit of a carnival for them. They want to finish off their season, last game there at St James's Park for the season. This is going to be very difficult for Arsenal, and you know we're looking at the defenders to see you know. Obviously, Gabriel was sent. Was sent. Sorry, was injured. Pulled a hamstring. Holding sent off. You're looking at Ben White. Is he fit and available? Tommy Atsu probably going to have to play into central defence. So there's going to have to be big character there, and a lot of belief is coming from the manager. Uh, they need to turn up, Jim. It's the it's a huge game for them. Probably the biggest game for Arsenal now for a, a number of years. Certainly while Arteta has been the manager. Um, he could have looked at it and thought, you know, felt sorry for themselves a little bit, but I don't expect that. They're going to have to fight, come out fighting and show that they're better than Newcastle, who I feel are much improved. They, you know, if you look at Shelby now in midfield with Bruno in there, a really good midfield. Wilson is coming back. Trippier is available. There's a whole host of players. and It, it, it might be a good night for, for Newcastle, but Arsenal need to make sure that they shut the door and get three points because only three points now is, is what counts for Arsenal. Yeah, a game like football. this tonight is right up your street, isn't it? You would have loved to have played I for think, Arsenal Jim, you've got tonight. To go in, you've got to embrace it. You've got to love it. You've got to look around the dressing room and just see, you know, look, it doesn't matter. We're going to go there. Keep the ball. Arsenal need to play their football and get it into Martinelli, get it into Saka, um, and hope that they could, well, they hope, you've got to go with certainty. You've got to believe you can do it. You know, this is, you want to hope that the, the Newcastle team before Christmas turns up, and that it's a disaster mm. for them, mm. and it's a huge disappointment, and that you feed off the crowd and the atmosphere, yeah, yeah. and you get Arsenal to where they want to be. Is that Tottenham results still swirling around in the minds of the Arsenal players as they go out tonight? To, to, to make amends well, don't you use that as energy when you when you have a disappointment you have to fire back that's when you see are you, are you the right person to be in the building for things going forward you know that I don't want to look at the Europa League I want to look at Champions League it, the, the, the thing that hurts is it, obviously it's Tottenham isn't it that could deny that's you it. you know that's the thing that hurts most that's of all that's Marteta's curse in this equation because actually in isolation <clears throat> from where he was to where he's gotten to in this season he's done okay He's done pretty well, and he's, I think he's earned another another sort of ride in America around for another year. Yeah. But the challenge for him is is that the 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 poison challenge for him is that if they actually finish sixth in the league, it'll uh, if they finish fifth in the league, it'll be at the expense yeah, at actually, the expense yeah. of Tottenham, and that's the argument that he'll have to try and evade. But I think it's a very difficult game for them tonight at St James's Park. I think there well, better, says it's a party atmosphere. I, I think they were better side than Newcastle, but the atmosphere and yeah. the whole spirit of the game will play into a, a, a very difficult evening for them. If they win that they game, do, then they deserve to be you know, in, in control of their own destiny. Is, is they need to minimise their mistakes. And you, you go into a game not worried about making a mistake, okay? But mm. you minimise them. You don't give gifts to the opposition. You know, the, the first thing you do in a game sets you up for the rest of the game. That's what all, should all they be thinking about. And if you think back to the last game, a soft penalty, I feel, holding, getting sent off. So you need to be smart. Play I'll smart. all that again, Martin. Don't start. start it all again, but it does. It starts every game. You got to put it right. Yeah, and I yeah. hope Arsenal do. I sincerely hope they do it. Okay, will they do it? What's your prediction? <laughs> I don't think they'll get the three points they need, Jim. <gasps> There's a sharp. Well, I'm being honest. I'm being absolutely honest. Simon and me. I feel that Tottenham. We both are, went. Uh, I think the, the momentum. Time. I think the loss of injury. Right. Players in it's that key position in central defence. Um, you know, go and prove me wrong. That's what I want to see. Is three points for Arsenal, but I think it could be too much. Why don't you write an article about it, about how they'll win this evening, and oh. in support of it, and put as many Newcastle players in the team? Correct. As possible. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, uh, Newcastle against Arsenal tonight. Uh, Martin is saying somewhat controversially that you don't think your beloved Arsenal will go there and get the three points they need. Time Objective. will tell, Mr. Jordan. I shall see you tomorrow. You will. Uh, you and me together, Martin. Thank you. You're so much better than Danny Murphy. 
Honestly, it's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, he's, I'm hearing he's the four under for the day. Is he? Yeah, just on the tee. On the tee, Danny Murphy. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.